Hello everybody and welcome to Video Games Awesome Live. This is The Witcher 2. We're coming to the end of Chapter 2 in The Witcher 2. Uh, what has been going on? We are in the dwarven town of something something, Lampshade I think. And we are trying to get Triss Marigold back. That is A1 priority because she's got the sex chase and the cool little buns on her hair and the boobies. So the boobies. Uh, the resident, uh, the resident sorceress, has been telling us mm -hmm. that in order to get her back, she needs a certain few ingredients to cast the spell, including a rose of remembrance, some royal blood, mm -hmm. uh, a piece of some flower that was found in the mines. We already got that. Some symbols or something like that of hate, or I forget what it was, but magical uh, artifacts. Yeah. We got a dragon's yeah. dream. Anyways, just as we gave her uh, all of the ingredients, or maybe it was just that we gave her Triss's bandana, suddenly this guy, they ran up to her door, these dudes, and they're like, they're trying to kill the royal guy. There's a royal guy in town, the prince, who is the guy who we saw duel the king at the beginning. He's the prince. Um, he claims, I guess, domain on this area, even though it's going to be the peasants fighting for against... Remember, this this is a town about to be under siege by a king who says that it's his rightful place. Um, uh, and that king actually fought a battle here, like, a, maybe three years ago. And his sorceress cast a spell over everything that killed everybody with fire from the sky. And so he, like, decided to leave or whatever because he... Uh, he thought it was dishonorable. This is what I've got from talking to all the dwarves in town. Okay. Regardless, there was a battle a long time ago for this town. It ended up going, nobody won, and the king vowed he'd be back. So he's coming soon, and it's gonna have to be all the peasants who are gonna have to defend it. And remember the virgin who's been poisoned. The dragon lady. Oh, yeah. That's what we're collecting all the Rose of Remembrance for. That's not, did I say that that's gonna get us Triss? Yes, you did. Fuck me. That is not going to get Triss. Triss has the Rose of Remembrance. Yeah. Sorry. It's all about the virgin. <laughs> There's a lot of shit going on. Yeah. Hey, um, uh, yep. Go, go look at that guy right there. Which guy? To the right. No, but you were going the right way. And then just to the right. That's uh. He's a mysterious merchant. Oh, he's. I've, we've been there. I just he, like the cut of his jib. <laughs> yeah, he's pretty a, good. He's a normal merchant, really. Just hanging. You know? Casual. <laughs> <laughs> Very mysterious. Good style to him. Uh, um. So yes, we're trying to uh, fix Saskia it's because all of the peasants follow her and believe that she's going to be the one that leads them to victory against the king, right. who's about to come. Okay. So that's what's going on. But anyways, yeah, that prince who was fighting the king, he's about to get lynched by a bunch of uh, a bunch of peasants. Up rioting. And we need his royal blood. Yeah, man. The reason How that they're uprising, blood after he dies? people are blaming him of poisoning Saskia. Oh, right. Saying that he's like kind of making a bid for the throne because he believes that if Saskia wins the battle that she will be queen. Mm -hmm. And since he's of noble blood and he's a prince, he set, doesn't want her around. I right. remember ending off here. That's what he people are blaming him of. Okay. Well, she's a dragon blood. So she should be the queen. She killed a dragon. Yeah. She's not a dragon blood. Right, dragon kind slayer. Of makes her. <laughs> There's a difference between killing dragons and being of dragon blood, that's for sure. How do you know she didn't fuck the dragon? I don't know. That could have been how she slayed it. could have been the trade-off. The <laughs> dragon gets to fuck her, and she gets to tell everybody that she killed him. <laughs> no, the dragon <laughs> gets to tell everybody that he fucked her, and she gets to tell everybody that she slayed him. And they just agreed to go their separate ways with a handshake. Uh. But she's supposedly a virgin. Found a dragon's dream caught in a crystal. I found a stolen dream. Excellent. That should do not. Oh, yeah. Oh, what we've... was the dream? It was of the dragon. It was a dragon's dream. It was a dragon's dream. Nice. Yeah, it was the most powerful dream you can get. So there's nothing actually Obviously. to talk to her about right now because um, we've already did that scene in the last episode. And a guy came and said they're going to kill the prince. So we have to run okay. and help the prince, which is a different quest, so I'll activate it. Royal blood. Royal Stop the blood. peasants from lynching the prince. <laughs> Take your time. Do whatever quest you want to do first. <laughs> Don't worry. The snake's head won't rot. <laughs> uh, that's a reference to our Dragon's Dogma playthrough, by the way. You'll get it soon enough. Yeah. yeah. You'll get the joke. They're calling him Elton John. <laughs> Elton. I think it's up here that they're about Elton. to lynch the prince. Elton. His name is Elton. Yeah. It's weird. 
You never so really say his first name without his last name, no. do you? Elton. Elton. Ha! <laughs> oh. Throw him off! Oh, you can't. You're fucking weird, dude. <laughs> he just realized we were watching. Maybe Elton is a is a common um, huh? UK name. Oh. I don't know. It's the name of the dude in Clueless. How about it, Catch UK something? fans? Elton. Elton. Oh, what is it like being over there with your world upside down? <clears throat> yeah. In your London fog. With nothing but the big bend to hold on to to prevent oh. yourself from flying off into space. Do you guys have London fog drinks? Such just. <laughs> Seriously, it's where they came from. Never be on the same All right, side. shit's going down here. only care how their asses rise as their stations do. Too many conversations. Him. Yeah, they're all yelling about them. They're pissed off. Okay. Geralt! Oh, fuck. It's good to see you. The Commodores claim Stennis is involved in Saskia's poisoning. They're looking to slaughter him. Stennis Baratheon? Oh, I'm getting all mixed up yeah, now. Okay. Uh, what's stopping Stennis. them from killing him? What's stopping them? The Knights. A journey in noble lords. Not easy to raise a hand against a blue blood. A peasant by the name of Calton was at the council. He didn't seem to respect anything or anyone. Calton's a blackout. He'll use any excuse to raid and plunder. He has a taste for noble blood. They say he buries gold looted from the lords in some gorge. Why do you Looks say like things, things like that? Nasty. And why did he add like an adjective? Some wanton what do you gorge. Want? I'm skill and burden. I keep order and vulgan. But doing a nice job then? Where was you when they poisoned Saskia? <laughs> yeah. Give us what? the prince. Get the flails. Huh? Stop. Uh... Jorvath. Squirrels. Everyone who wants to leave this yard in one piece, keep your hands off your weapons. I don't care if you're a serf or a lord. I'll kill you all if need be. Oh, What's good. going on? We have him here. Yeah. The servant carrying wine during the feast said that Prince Sternes and Olkan poisoned Saskia. We want justice. Wait, the servant who carried the wine? It's not the same thing. Sounds fishy. We don't care. Saskia has fallen as if dead, while the poisoning prince and noble lords rush to herd us onto the field and sell us to Henselt. We won't let them! You lie, Carlton. Nobody's being sold out. The poisoner must be caught and tried by law. Your law? What then? He'll pay a fine and get spanked on his ass? We'll spank him, all right, with an axe to the throat! That's not how spankers work. servant? No. Safe. Maybe it's a cultural thing. The square tower keep an eye on him. Why is the prince hiding in his house if he's innocent? Enough! Guys, you're gonna kill him! I'll yeah. shoot yeah. the first to reach for a weapon. Then heads will start falling. There's more of you us. You better listen to the squirrels. You can't kill every... <laughs> then you'll be first. pretty sure he can. Now back off! I like Yarvith. You yeah, need to too. act quickly. I'm glad we chose him. Uh, huh? We? The mob's akin to a forest after a drought. One spark and the fire will be unstoppable. I'm no peacekeeper and definitely no judge. We're both in it, whether you like it or not. Why are you getting involved? These moments, it's inappropriate to have that swelling music. Yeah. Certainly not bit. for this rabble. This should be a What's quiet plan? moment. I'll frighten them a little, bleed them if need be. I'll buy you some time, but be swift. I can't hold them off for long. All right. Question the peasants and the nobles, across the water? And talk to the <laughs> Yeah, with that. You can get to me no. He just strapped some guilty, vines together and made sure a proper raft. A suitable story. That's how you get boring tattoos like that. Raft tattoos. Yeah. Also, find the servant who started talking. All right, so, so he's telling us, go talk to the... To talk to we have to come to a verdict. By oh, looking for clues. Okay. The prince has a coming, methinks. Good. You're in my way. That poison has a what? Saskia's on the beer with Hensel. Can we have a word? Why not? I'm Ogden, a founder. I cast mugs, plates, chalices. You need any, Witcher? No, thanks. The tableware in the council chamber is your handiwork? What would that it have is? to do with anything? Need it back in Mayor Farragut's time. Since then, each and every goblet has hit the floor dozens of times. And what happened? Nothing. Because the steel. My goblets you take are credit for steel? <laughs> impervious to both the fury of sovereigns and servants who are all thumbs. Saskia's chalice was new. Aye, it was. Back in Mayor okay. Farragut's day, a venture Saskia was no more than a Where did we get the information that it was new? Who commissioned the goblet? I think who he was ordered the goblet that. from you? That goblet was a gift. A way for the folk of Bergen to pay tribute to Saskia. 
I got the honor of casting and presenting it to our lovely leader. So you the poisoned her. liked it so much, she's not used any other vessel since she received it. Ooh. Anything unusual? Was the order for a normal goblet? Not a chance. It was supposed to be a gift. I ornamented it richly, even on the inside. Not terribly practical, that, as it's hard to get clean. Some scum is bound to remain. But I wanted it looking kind of like this mug, actually. Worthy of our Saskia. Uh... The other chalices were not <laughs> ornamented on the inside? Of course not. He does have a green beard. Yeah. He's like a leprechaun. It's freaking awesome. <clears throat> any chance the two identical... Wait, what? Oh, any chance the two identical... Any chance there could have been two identical goblets? Why, there's no craftsman that comes close to me in Vergen. Could someone have tried to copy your handiwork? Ha! I know of one who's been trying for years, but he's a fumbler, a screw-up. He's not produced one decent vessel. They all look like the work of a drunken elf. Thorax, his name. Hmm, sounds like this is... See you at the inn. We'll grab a beer. This is nonsense. The prince has a coming for the virgin's death. Good. I could tell you Bloody what you bastard poison the Stop heart talking, heart. everybody! Jesus! Every oh my god. Alright, sounds like this is be a route Otherwise, to go on. God damn it, Dandelion. <sighs> okay. <laughs> so there's apparently uh, the, the chalice that she uses is uh -huh. very, very Pisticular. specific. And it seems like there's some suspicion that if one had been copied, then they might have been able to switch, do a switcheroo with a poison chalice. Uh-huh. Okay. So maybe this is something we need to investigate further. The old poison chalice switcheroo. Things look bad. Say, the peasants are furious. Here? They finally have a chance to strike back for all the- The noblemen won't yield. Oh, I didn't want to talk to you. They're a cowardly. They know their heads will follow Stennis's. It's a deadlock, with the prince's guilt still to be proven. <clears throat> Yappin says it's someone from Edom. Sheldon, on the other hand, would shave his beard if it's not Hensel's spot. Uh, anyone talked with the prince? Uh... Anyone reached the... Not even close. The nobles guard him like a matron does her wards, Heine. If the rabble slaughters I the prince, they'll be able to stop him. I hate his fucking analogies and his comparisons. That's does why the nobles will support the prince, even if they believe he's Heine. guilty. Now I'm sure Stennis's hands are dirtier than a peasant girl's fucked in a barn. I like there. That. That's how you do That's it. That's how you talk. <laughs> Guys like Dandelion would have been killed long ago, back in those old-timey times. Mm. That's why it's not realistic. What would Erdarnian... Has Yarpin got any evidence? No, Yarpin's an old cook and says he's got a feeling plowing soothsayer. He might be right with those feelings. After all, not just anyone... I don't know what you're... <laughs> so it never crossed your mind that Henselt might have sent someone here before those ghosts appeared. Henselt's the other king that's attacking. Why would Sheldon suspect Henselt? He'd sooner reach an agreement with Stennis than Saskia. Her death would be very convenient. Because Saskia is stubborn. Sultan? I'm wondering how anyone could manage to poison the wine. Saskia's a quick-witted lass. She doesn't let just anyone near. Someone she knew must have done it. Mm. Okay. Give us this whole so she would have been easily tricked Rolling. if her chalice was what different. What do you want? We of noble birth always had to protect the plebs from their own stupidity. If not for us, the world... I don't have time to listen to songs praising the nobility. Know anything about the attempt on Saskia's life? No, I don't. But whatever the truth, the mob cannot lynch one of royal blood. So truth means nothing to you. That's what makes us different. I didn't say I don't care about truth. Just keep in mind there's a world order that mustn't be destroyed. An order that allows injustice. If the prince turns out to be involved in this attempted murder, he should face a tribunal. The rabble doesn't understand the principles ruling the world. Or they do understand them and simply don't like them. Saskia is a wise woman, but there's one thing she doesn't take into consideration. This war will be over one day. Who will sow the crops and milk the cows? Saskia called the serfs to arms. Do you think they'll want to plough fields again? You may be right, but it's certainly not my business who'll plough your fields. Farewell. Fair yeah. well I can, I can we never tell if it's sexual to your throat. <laughs> yeah, really. The use of the word plow, the word plow is getting confusing. Yeah. Why is he lingering about a like the stench field. in a dwarven <laughs> harbor? <laughs> Those which just be craving plow gold. Field. This one's sure to say the prince is innocent. Mm. Then oh, Sting stands for a pouch. He better search for a lad who served the virgin instead of pissing around. Yeah, and once then with the prince, he'd better take care of the magnets, throwing their weight about too much they are. Mm. The kid does sound like a good lead. Yeah. Why is he hiding? You know Saskia's mm. servant? 
Willie of the Oblates. He, he handled the wine, indeed, but loves the virgin like your sister and mother put together. He'd gladly get quartered for her. Sister and mother put together. Where's this Willie? <laughs> That's interesting. Hiding in his shack, afraid you of them my interest. squirrels. It's like garlic. the greatest girlfriend of all time. Mm. Mm. Um, did the prince have access prince to the wine cellar? The prince next to Saskia during the council. Did he have access to the wine cellar beforehand? How should I know? Why flap your mouth then? The prince <laughs> is a wealthy lord. Bribing a skivvy to poison the wine is nothing to so him. So that's a theory. Just because someone can afford gold teeth doesn't mean they'll pull their healthy ones. <laughs> gold teeth. Gold teeth, eh? What's it really all about? Who's backing? We want just it. We don't need no one backing it. How would you punish the prince? If a lad counts hens wrong, he'll be flogged. What should we then do with a man poisoning others? Kill him. A land without a ruler is a nightmare. We have a ruler, the Virgin of Edda. It's not certain she'll live. Then we'll choose another who'll manage. But and all people is gonna be equal, our way. And the non-humans? We have enough dang on the fields. Oh Let my god. Let non-humans find a non-human land. Both sides of this argument are assholes. We got racists on one side and dickhead Fucking rich people snobby. on the other side. Snobby this assholes on the other. Rolling dung, you surly dog. God damn it. On the situation. Finally, someone reasonable. It's obvious Hensel bribed some serf who then did what he was told. Whoa, a noble saying this? That's interesting. Just think it through. The prince couldn't have done it. The wine was in plain sight. Only the servants touched Wait. the decanters. And who are they? Commoners. He admits that Hensel bribed someone. That oh, Hensel, not the prince. Yeah. To stand against the nobles okay. and the prince. I, I, I thought he Something was to think blaming the prince himself. Change your tone when we put the a sickle to your throat. Enough of this charade. Try to be reasonable, folks. Sit down and talk in peace. We've talked enough. Come on, lads, let's drag the prince from his arms. Fuck armor. you! Vergen's not a cesspit for anyone to shit in. There are laws to abide, and Scalen Burden's job is to uphold them. There's no law allowing a serf to threaten a king's scion. I, Silgrat, brother of Seltkirk, the greatest knight to walk Edernian land, say so. Does it matter who was born in a castle and who in a pigsty? Get out of my way, yeah. Any fool can prejudge and condemn. It's easy I to beat that guy in a fight, by the way. Guilt. <laughs> yeah, what is he doing? servant yeah, claims that Prince uh, Dennis supposedly in bar fights, I beat him. Oh, really? Why yeah. would the prince he said that nobody could beat noble blood. Deed. Bear in mind how eminent is his lineage. That's why the mongrel covets the crown. Yeah. Do you even remember how valorous he was towards Saskia during the negotiations Ooh, with Prince? Ooh, he negotiated valorously. He was like <laughs> box. The and that was our choice as players us, to not give her up. So One of our choices is to give her up to See the See for yourselves pencil. how the commoners hate the prince, spitting venom like adders. They hatched a plot to dispose of him. Saskia's servant said that... Where is this servant, might I ask? If he's got something to say, why does he hide like a thief? The answer is simple. He's a fraud. He's hiding to save his skin from you, horse hands. Squirrels have to guard him. One last question. How could the prince poison Saskia? It's a known fact that servants taste wine from the barrels before the virgin sips it. No need to poison the wine. Smearing the poison inside the chalice would be enough. Mm. I never heard of anyone poisoning a chalice. You haven't heard so much then. So it's not possible. One of the emperor's forebears <laughs> died after sampling some lamb. He was always scared of poison and ate supper with his cook. The murderer spread poison on one side of a knife. Then he cut the meat so that only a small piece was poisoned. The witch is right. Give us Stennis. Saskia's got her own chalice. It was commissioned from one of the dwarves. The order came with a very detailed drawing. Even so, how did it come into Saskia's hand? Good question. Good point. We can't be sure if the prince poisoned the wine. Stennis is blowing hot and cold. Everyone knows that. You were supposed to prove his guilt. Not insult him, Yoko. Tell us who else would do it. A peasant wanted to hurt the miss? Never. It's cause of her, you noble dogs can't ignore This guy's us. completely uninterested in what's going on. Yeah, yeah. And now he's turned around. The peasant's not foolish enough to raise his hand against his Oh, wait, it's a different guy. Perhaps it is no peasant's deed. However, that doesn't mean the prince is guilty, intense. fool. Answer me this. Was not Stannis' room next to Saskia's? 
Do not the wines come from his own lights red and cellar? I don't think I care. Can he not end? Yes. His serene damned the prince can. Curses on his kin. Nobody in Bergen wants to kill Saskia. And even if they want it, nobody but Stennis could do it. That's... Yeah, I don't it know. appears Stennis would benefit <laughs> the most from Saskia's death. You're letting him kill him. Oh, he's here to defend himself. Your Highness, this is dangerous. Whoa. I am not afraid. Fear is a commoner's trait, unfit for one with royal blood running oh. in his veins. What do you want, to judge me? Is a prince a common thief who steals a dozen eggs at the market? You stand before royal majesty, and you raise your hands against it. In this world, there are crimes that can be forgiven, and crimes that, by any means, cannot. Just as a mother killing her own child, or a man slitting his own brother's throat cannot be forgiven. A crime against one anointed by the gods themselves also cannot be condoned. He who raises hand against divine right is not worthy to walk this world. And what about he who poisons the Virgin of Eden? Firstly, Saskia is alive, so no one can blame me for her death. That's true. Secondly, you have no proof that it was I who tried to murder her. And thirdly, I assure all gathered here, I won't rise above the law. However, only she... The Virgin of Eden. Press that statement. <laughs> Connie! Do the blue badger. Get well, who's gonna judge you? Have they been I doing Phoenix be Wright references for a while? Show me your turn to pass just sentence. <laughs> Those are words worthy of a true sovereign. <laughs> I am the one you should look to for guidance. That was sudden. Let my deeds be the flame Actually. that lights up your darkness. Um, yeah. You didn't say a word about your guilt or innocence. You demand justice. You want to summon a coven of the wise. But who will sit on that coven? Any peasants? No. Yelling very Any loud! You nominate yourself. Lords whom you'll reward with lands for reaching the... Uh, so I just think I condemned him to death? I think, I think so. that's what you did. <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah! Take it! Prince! Oh! Oh! Wow. Oh. 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 oh! 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 Oh, you shouldn't have been a snob about it. It's a bad I might have been. I might have sided with you. But you're. <laughs> I got his blood anyway! <laughs> why, do, why did I even have to talk to all the those people? Won't forgive them that. I uh, could have come to that conclusion without talking to anyone. Uh, uh, and backstabbing by Stennis' example. His filthy life wasn't taken in vain. Eilhart <laughs> will get royal blood, and Saskia will be cured. We need to hurry. We can't He's keep already peace and dead. strength alone. That might have been a bit harsh. Anything's <laughs> possible using strength. One just has to know how to use it. That's your credo? Saskia's the best leader I've ever What do you intend to do? I'll get reinforcements. The Skoyatal are Oh, he's going to take off and get some people to fight. Time to summon them. Cool. You won't get through the fog. I don't intend to. Mountains may stop human armies. I don't but think not he was guilty. <laughs> Who cares? He was a dick. Will you be back in time. He was a bit of a dick. But I, I do to. feel bad that we Raphael didn't get Wimbley. the guilty guy. Don't lose well, you know what's That's annoying. the only thing I feel bad about. Uh, I kind of feel bad that he was brutally murdered. There are multiple ways to play that bit. Uh-huh. You you only have you're only allowed to talk to a certain number of people before he comes out of his room. Oh, really? And there was actually a uh, you would have been able to split off and leave and go talk to the servant and find out that a priest created a duplicate cha chalice. Mm -hmm. And then you would have been able to go find plans that prove that a priest was creating the chalice. And But that's cool and everything. But you only were able to talk to a few people. I wasted time on the guy who talked about plowing the fields. How was I to know that I wasn't supposed to talk to him? It said that I had a limited amount of time. I talked to everybody I could. Are you supposed to reload the save? Yeah. That's a little dumb. Yeah. Like, that's kind of dumb. You should be able to, like, use it, yeah. skill to decide who to yeah. talk to. Oh. Oh! Cool. Oh. Is it a good sword? Yeah. I, I imagine it's his sword, yeah, right? Yeah, you'd think. Witcher's not good attorney. Let's see. If, there it is. 22 to okay. 88? Wait. Huh? Yeah, it's better. Yeah. Quite a bit it is. better. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Yeah! Bonus. Success! Attorney success. Mm. 
Yeah, tell me, what, tell us the story, guys. Was he really guilty or not? I only know about the other stuff about how like there was a duplicate chalice and stuff, but I don't know like who what the actual story is. But again, I think it's dumb that you have to just guess who you're supposed to talk to, and if you talk to the wrong persons by chance, you can't yeah, solve the fucked. crime. That's not fair. You want to know, right? If you yeah. actually guilty. Yeah, go ahead, spoil it. I don't care. Okay. Who cares? It's past, and we're not redoing it. But we're some not... people might want to find it on their own. Oh, well, look away for a moment. Just don't look at the chat for the next little bit, guys. Uh, da -da -da. I guess I leave now. Well, that's that segment anyways. Phoenix Knight. Uh, oh yeah, you have to talk Oh, this to was his room. Oh, I got some money from that. Jeez. Poor guy, man. Oh no, this is his room. Killed him, took his sword. Okay. Ah! He's dead! Unlock it, assholes! And why he's didn't- He's still warm, man. They... Yeah, really. Maybe why is nobody there. Why is nobody dealing with this warm body? He it's still good. probably has keys on him. What do you mean by dealing? <laughs> Making use of. Anyways, I think I explored this room. Oh, orange. He may have royal hookers in there. <laughs> I did level up. Actually, I should level up uh, during this segment so that we don't waste oh. the next segment. I'm about to say a spoiler, anyone who's listening. Wiki seems to say that he was guilty. Oh, he was, eh? Interesting. I'll look it up later on. That's cool. <clears throat> so we did do the right thing. I got two talents to use. Yeah. You've got more than two. Where? No, I got two. I was complimenting. Oh, me in general? I'm going to get Vitality 100 and Finesse, or chances of instant kills go up. What's the Finesse? Critical effects, like poison from your mm. blade. Sorry, end spoilers. If they could hear me say end spoilers, then they were listening, though. Yeah. Just, if you don't want spoilers, maybe stay away till we come back from the next commercial, which is going to help happen momentarily, I think. Yeah, we have to go talk to Philippa now. I just want to make my way to outside her residence before we take come back. I like this sword. Look, cool at that, look at that belly. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I remember that. It's quite that. the belly. I was not an impartially, an impartial judge to a point to that. No. I got a sword out of it. Yeah. I got his blood out of it. But it all worked out. <laughs> Pro tip. Don't appoint the guy to be the judge and jury to a man who is accused who wants his blood. Yeah. yeah. Who literally wants his blood. Yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> All right, uh, headed back to see Philippa because we now have royal blood. We have every ingredient to cure Sasuke now. I want her to sex us up when we heal her. Sasuke, the virgin? Yeah. I think you misinterpret what virgin means. Well, no, she's a virgin now. Yeah, but she if she loses she... that virginity, she's going to lose all her battle powers. It's not like she needs to tell anyone. <laughs> Just a secret fuck. Just a secret virgin de-virginizing? Yeah. And here we go. This is Philippa's place. All right, we'll be back after this with Video Games Awesome Live, Curing Saskia. Stay tuned.